Farm workers uh, from across Mexico have marched in the capital to denounce agricultural cuts that they say will damage small scale producers rather than big agro industry. Our correspondent Clayton Khan now with more. In dozens of buses, they arrive from the points farthest north and south of the Mexican Republic. They are small scale farm workers who say little by little they are being squeezed out of the country's profile by policies of privatization and budget cuts. Corn costs 3,000 pesos a ton and they say it is increasing in price. If the price of seeds and fertilizer is increasing, then how will the agricultural sector survive? What we require is competitive conditions. We require seeds, credits, cheap fertilizers, and opportunities for the agricultural sector. For 20 years, they have rejected neoliberal policies that makes living off the land a dire economic possibility. They now say cuts in rural subsidies is putting at risk what they say is most fundamental to Mexican society. For us, the countryside is our heartland soul, as well as our source of food. It is where we feed ourselves, the farm workers, and society in general. We work it every day, and it is what brings us financial resources. With the dramatic drop in international oil prices, Mexico has had to adjust its public spending, proposing a modified budget for 2016 that these farm workers say privileges private interests over programs that stimulate productivity. Farm worker leaders demand audience with the country's interior ministry to negotiate new programs that prioritize social programs and productivity, rather than debilitating government handouts and diluted social welfare. The agricultural sector is assigned a minimal amount with a zero budget, and social programs will now be totally eliminated. Farm workers affirmed that the 2016 public budget cuts reduces programs for small-scale producers, which make up 63 percent of the agricultural sector, while credit programs for large-scale producers in the agro-industry will not face any cuts. Clayton Cantalasur, Mexico City.